Hey guys, this is Ix Roller Ix with Lego Transformers Matchbox. <laughs> So here we have Matchbox in his vehicle, Modes. Yeah, Modes. It's kind of like my Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, with the fact that it doesn't have any robot modes individually, but it has vehicle modes. You could argue that this should be more of a Super Sentai creation, but that would mean that this guy here would have to have some sort of cockpit, and, um... Judging on what it is, uh, that can't happen. These aren't an individual array of beings. This is one being that can split itself into several different persona, I guess. Um, but pretty nice. Uh, Matchbox comes from the little cars called Matchbox. They're tiny little cars that I think Hot Wheels derived from. I'm not sure which came first. But uh, they're little cars the size of Matchboxes. Little toys. Um, and that's precisely what these are. These are meant to be a Transformer uh, that turns into toys. Or it is meant to be a Transformer that turns into uh, little toy vehicles. So, take what you will. Um, but, there it is. A little group shot there before I go up close. So let's take an up close shot at each one of these. Here is the bulldozer. Uh, this is more or less um, an exact copy of the uh, 2010 advent calendar bulldozer, except I changed some of the colors. But the build is exactly the same. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just a little bulldozer. Not much to talk about there. Next, we have a couple of trucks with ladders and, um, a thing. This could be like a saw blade, or like some sort of enormous, uh, siren. But pretty cool. This guy, uh, rolls. It's been a long time since I've made a, uh, rolling vehicle, but there you go. He's also got a yellow twin, mirrored, but still. Twins, hurrah. The final piece is this train uh, kind of thing. It's got carts, it stores pins inside each of the carts. Uh, now what this is, is a, a manned um, train engine, like a man-powered train engine. Uh, two guys stand back-to-back -back from each other, hold on to these handles here, and synchronizingly uh, push forward and back, which in turn rolls this wheel along the track, which pulls the train. As you can see, it is... Uh, manned by ghosts at the moment, but it's an alien robot. What are you going to do? To transform it, um, this, um, we'll just set that over here for the time being. These, you flip up the uh, things and slide these over. If you haven't guessed by now, these will become legs. We can set those off to the side. The train, split it into pieces, dump out the pins, you can set those aside for now, and you can set that aside. Come back to this, 
take a pin put it in there take another pin put it in there take another pin put it in there and take another pin and put it in there there you go again just set that over here for the time being this uh, one of the pneumatic tees here comes in and there's a little triangular piece here uh, section that the pneumatic tee kind of snaps into it's kind of pegged in there not very secure peg but there is a click and this section just comes down like that and you have this now what you do here is you split this as far as it can go bring it down a little slide that in there get this lined up and then sandwich the treads and pins with the pneumatic T then kinda just slide that down like that and you got this now you just kind of attach everything missed. That was fail. Failure. Okay. Next we put that in there. Notice we're bathing in lava at the moment. My camera really hates the color red. Sorry for that. Unfortunately gonna have to deal with it but there you go there it is merged so uh, here is matchbox all together he is pretty cool I, I really do like how this guy looks um, he's a very nice uh, well-designed sort of combiner with the uh, legs there they're kinda chicken-legged but you know yeah, no. Should be used to that by now. The uh, bulldozer uh, seating area is the head. It's got cart arms. That's a new uh, terminology for you. Cart arms. The hands are the uh, points of attachment for the ball sockets. Um got some articulation in the waist. It does this kind of thing. It also kind of rotates up here. That's about it. The arms go forward and back. Uh, they kind of go in and out a little bit. It's kind of stretching it, but if you use your imagination, they can go out to about that far, though. It's very easy to knock them off that way. The head rotates, which is kind of cool. Legs go forward and back, bends at the knee slightly, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now he does have a weapon. He's got this match here. It's got the uh, kind of wooden part here, and the red bit there, and uh, the w wooden part kind of comes through, resembling the uh, white part of a uh, strike anywhere match. So what he'd do is pull this out of nowhere because you know, cartoons and anime and awesomeness. I I don't know. I'm just making stuff up here, but um, he really has nowhere to store this. But you know, strike it anywhere, and 
Some amazing stuff happens. Uh, this slides up. And flames burst out. His name is Matchbox, so, you know, a match flame sword is appropriate. Uh, now to hold this said weapon. Uh, it has to be open. He cannot hold it if it is not opened um, in sword mode. Meaning he cannot hold it when it's just a match, unfortunately. But, just like the ball socket would fit in there, the match fits right in the hand like that. And it's a pretty cool weapon. Uh, finally, a uh, one last kind of last minute play feature here. Like when you put your fingers on a match and it goes out, you can kind of do the same thing with this. Ta-da! Uh, you just kind of push this down and it pushes the uh, flame piece out the end. Very cheesy, kind of fun, kind of cool. Now, while this is really the most involved pose you can get with this guy, he's still really very cool and, most of all, unique. And that's what I really like about him. So, this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.